So there's been a lot of talk uh, at this conference and at SPCL last week about um, Lisp and Python working together in several ways. Um, we've had the the, the, the co-routine twins there, um, um, Charles <laughs> and uh, Kartik, uh, uh, working away on, on, on uh, uh, SPCL librarian, which is a, a way of taking your cool Lisp library and making it accessible from for someone who's working in Python. I understand their use cases, people like physicists who may not be either uh, interested or competent or have the time to learn Lisp and they want to work within uh, within Python, so we're, they're supplying them with uh, a Lisp library. Uh, perfectly reasonable use case. Uh, Marco yesterday was talking about his cool library, uh, Petalisp, which works in Lisp, which is fantastic, but he, he'd like a bit more reach. Uh, and, and in fairness, uh, Python has, has orders of magnitude more programmers, so if uh, something like SBCL librarian uh, could be used to um, uh, to get that to more people, and that's uh, that's uh, also a, a perfectly legitimate use case. Um, I'm interested in the other way around. Um, so the last few years, I've been doing machine learning. Uh, this is my company, ML Programs, and I wanted to show you some of the people at ML Programs. Some of us. This is us here. We we have uh, offices in this startup village in Amsterdam, which those of you who were at uh, uh, ELS last year were uh, will, will, will be familiar with. That's some of my team over there. Um, to do machine learning, we, we really need a Python stack. We use libraries that you've probably heard of called NumPy and Pandas and Scikit-Learn and a whole bunch of others. Uh, and that's where machine learning really happens. We could rewrite all of that in Lisp, and I'd really love to be doing machine learning in, uh, in, in Lisp. Um, our company is called Machine Learning Programs because we make machine learning programs. And we make machine learning programs in Python because we need to keep up. It's a very fast moving area. Uh, anybody that brings out new ideas will implement it in standard libraries. Uh, and we just don't have the, uh, the bandwidth to be able to do those kinds of things. Um, so I would like to be able to program in Lisp for all the obvious reasons. Lisp has a much superior uh, set of uh, uh, abstractions than, uh, than Python does. The libraries that we work with, uh, NumPy and Pandas, uh, were initially made for a single use case, uh, and then they were adapted to other use cases, and they sort of just grew, so there, there was no consistent, somebody sat down and said, what's the, what's the real uh, API that we want to use here? What's the interface that we want to work with? Indeed, there's a, a work going on at the moment on a library called Polars, which is uh, being worked on in Amsterdam. It's uh, intended to be a replacement for Pandas. It's more self-consistent, more coherent. Uh, and we've been uh, evaluating it, and we find that it, it, it certainly is. You've got a, a coherent set of uh, uh, things to, uh, to interface to it. So I, I sort of thought, what, what is it that I would like? So this is kind of my wish list. So uh, would, you, would you mind? Thank you. Now I'm going to go back to the other one here. Want the terminal? Please. OK. Um, let me find first where I am. Let's go here. I want to just show you uh, real simple. This is a piece of Python, and it does a really simple piece of machine learning. If you look at the first five lines, these are all py uh, uh, Python imports in, in different kinds of ways. The first couple are sort of standard ways to import NumPy and Pandas as NP and PD, uh, abbreviations for them. And the, other, uh, the next three lines import uh, uh, individual functions. The next thing we do is we, we, we pick a machine learning technique called k-nearest neighbors, and we, uh, we start up a k-nearest neighbors uh, uh, instance, and we're using uh, four neighbors in this case. The next line is where we load the data set. We're holding this iris data set. It's about flowers. It's got four measurements for each flower, and based on the four measurements, you should be able to say which of three different species of iris it is. Um, this chunk here is uh, what's called a train-test split. We're splitting our data into the bit we want to use to train the model and the bit we want to use to test the model. And all of these are tools that come out of those libraries that uh, we imported in the first five or six lines. Underneath, we fit the model, and then we try out the fitted model on the, uh, the testing part, and we print these things out and see what happens. And if I do something like that, uh, no, I need to work on something first. Uh, SPCL, I think I called it. Python uh, iris.py, uh, and it grumbles away for a few minutes, and then it says, these are the results that we got, and these are uh, the, the, the true values. So you can see this is reasonably good. So what I would really like to be able to do, um, and this is my, my wish list part, is uh, I'd really like to be able to write some, sorry for the junk in the Emacs, but uh, this is just trying to get things to work real quick. Uh, there's that one there. Can I go something like that, and if I can go iris.py, and you can see this, it looks a bit odd, but anyway, you can see these two things beside each other. On the right-hand side is what I really want to do. 
Uh, I want to be able to just quick load NumPy, Panda, Scikit, Kit, learn straight into my Lisp. Uh, I want to be able to make a package which is called Iris. I want to make a KNN by calling something from the, the nearest neighbor, from the, the neighbor's package. Uh, I want to make a data set down right at the bottom. I want to bind some values for these uh, uh, train test split. Uh, uh, split. Uh, and I want to be able to run it just like that. If Marco was giving this presentation, this is the moment where he'd say, now we're going to do a magic trick. Because what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to slime. And then I go over there. And then I go to Control C, Control L, and pray. And all of that works. So this is really just a thin layer on top of some of the stuff that you saw earlier this afternoon uh, with the uh, IRAs uh, CL, uh, what's it called, PY4CL2C FFI. Um, but uh, I kind of like this and think it's really neat, and I'm going to do more stuff with this. Thank you for listening. <laughs>